it's another lady of the house kind of day and today i'm in the kitchen so i'm bringing you along with me as i try a new soup recipe this is something that i encouraged you for romanticizing november to do because it's the perfect time of year to just enjoy those warm soups for most of you i know that not everybody is in fall here but for the fall time i really do love soups I love soups all the time actually. It's one of the things that if I go to a restaurant, I'll usually check out their soups and see if if anything piques my interest. But um, my favorite soup, one of the favorites, I have two favorites, okay? I love to try French onion soup in different places, but I really love tomato basil soup. So if there's a place that has tomato basil soup, I will definitely want to try it. I've never made my own though. And I've usually just eaten the Progresso one out of the can, which I don't even have any problem with it. I don't feel that it has a weird flavor or anything. And I add a special ingredient to that just to kind of make it my own, doctor it up a little bit. It's something that my dad taught me when I was very young, which is to add a little bit of red wine vinegar in it. And I just feel that it really rounds out the flavor and just tastes so good, but I also love vinegar. So, um, and the other thing that is really great with grilled, the other thing that is really great with tomato basil soup is grilled cheese. So I will be making that as well to have on the side with it. So come along with me today as we make some tomato basil soup. A lovely way to romanticize life in the kitchen is to light a candle, no matter the time of day. And of course, turn on some of your favorite music. When I'm trying a new recipe, I prefer to be alone so I can fully concentrate on the instructions at hand. For your convenience, I've linked the original recipe in the description box. My recipe card includes red wine vinegar. This is how I made it my own. I'd like to take a moment to thank our patrons for their support of this channel each month. As a way of thanks, I've created Lady of the House Weekly, a newsletter, available for print across every tier on Patreon. This has been quite a big goal of mine, to put something into print form. I had originally planned on its release in 2023, but why wait? The printable will likely coincide with the week's topics and feature recipes, cleaning cards, to-do lists, goals, seasonal wardrobe ideas, dresses, relationships, organizational tips, hair, makeup, decorating, flowers, paintings, quotes, the inspired word, and of course, ways to romanticize life as the lady of the house while making the everyday beautiful. I'll be sure to give a little preview each week. This channel is fully funded by its patrons, and for that, I am truly grateful. Please accept this gift from me to you, and who knows, by the end of 2023, we could have ourselves a Lady of the House book.
Is there anything more comforting than walking into a home after a long day filled with the aromas coming from the kitchen that the lady of the house is working in? I will be the first to say, this is something I can focus on more. I know this can be difficult for many when working outside of the home or focusing on other tasks within it, making more of an effort to stop what I'm doing, to give myself time in the kitchen to create is a wonderful way to feel accomplished in this area. So the soup was great and I sat down with my daughter and we had a little after school snack. So that was really nice with some grilled cheese and it's just the perfect after school snack I feel. Um, I have made it for dinner in the past, but um, it's always just one of those really wonderful things to have when it's cold outside. So um, I text my grandfather because there is quite a bit left that Everybody else in the family is not going to eat because they don't enjoy tomato soup. So um, I asked him if he likes tomato basil soup, and he said that he does. So I said, okay, well, I'll bring you some over for dinner. So um, I need to go get my other girls from school. But what I am here for is I wanted to share with you this sweater dress. I told all of you that I would share my sweater dresses as they come in. This is the one that my mom got me for my birthday. And this came from easy popsy and I will have it linked in the description box below. They also have a similar style in like a light blue, a cream and a burgundy color. But, um, that has a little bit different of a tie on it or a sash on it with like a little buckle. So I, if I had to decide, I went with this one because I felt that it was the most neutral for me. I wanted something that wouldn't stand out against the coat that I wear all the time. It's extra long, which I think is wonderful for 
the, the fall going into winter months, but just the fact that it's a sweater dress and it's, it just feels really nice too. So I know that this isn't a wardrobe video or anything, but I wanted to share this with you and let you know that I'm very happy with this and the way that it looks when I pair it with my coat as well. And even just how high this neckline goes up. I think that it's really nice that you don't have to worry when bending over or anything like that. And you can adjust it. You can do different things to, you know, whatever it, whatever way you want to style it. You can do many things. It'll look good, great with a necklace. It will look great with a scarf and it's warm. So very big plus. And, um, anyway, that is what I wanted to share with you, but I am going to wrap this video up. I hope that you enjoyed spending some time with me in the kitchen and that it encourages you to try a new soup recipe. This is one that I am adding to my repertoire of, of recipes, and I would prefer to make this than eating it out of the can now. So I sent my dad a picture as well and told him that I was thinking of him because he um, was the one that introduced me to tomato soup and especially with the red wine vinegar added to it. And I did try that and I really liked it as well. So I just thought I'd put that in there. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who've purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I'm grateful for all of my returning subscribers. Your continued support and kind words are an inspiration to me. I want to welcome you if you are new and invite you to subscribe to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful.